Thank you, Madam President. Thank you, Madam President. Um, well, let me start by something more general. I see that uh, some honorable members of this parliament use every opportunity to attack what uh, uh, constitutes a great, maybe the greater achievement of the European Union, the freedom of movement in a Europe without internal borders. I will repeat that Schengen is a part of the solution. It's not the problem. Schengen is not the problem. By making full use of Schengen rules, we can be more efficient in better checking and controlling our borders. Let me now focus on our issue. Dear colleagues, thank you very much for this debate. It was short, but very substantial. We are obviously sharing the same view. The gender question in human trafficking needs to be fully taken into account. Let me repeat it very clearly. Trafficking is a crime against the human rights, as expressed in the European Union's Charter of Fundamental Rights. There are still many victims of trafficking, which is unacceptable. Ms. Bjerg, as you well know, criminalization of users of services who knowingly use victims of trafficking is considered as a measure to reduce demand in the anti-trafficking directive. The directive urges member states to consider measures for criminalizing the use of services with the knowledge that the person is a victim of trafficking. This means that the directive does not oblige the member states to criminalize the users of services of victims who knowingly do so. It only obliges member states to consider criminalizing, and, and some do. But as I said, we are working on ways to reduce demand. The European Union has already taken strong action. We need to assess our achievements as we are coming to the end of the European Union's anti-trafficking strategy. I am fully engaged to exchange with you on this topic in view of adopting the new strategy next year. Thank you.